I'd say let go of your pride and uh, look at your family. You want to help your family, you know, take care of yourself because you can't take care of anybody unless you take care of yourself first. My name is Todd Gates. I live on the Cattaraugus Indian Reservation of the Seneca Nation. I've enjoyed all the blessings that uh, the Creator has given me. In 2023, I was 61 years old and uh, diagnosed with prostate cancer. I was having trouble going to the bathroom. It wasn't normal. I decided to go to the doctor and talk to him about it and started all the testing. I guess the diagnosis came in uh, late July that I had prostate cancer and started to get treated. Luckily, I'm a good friend with my doctor, and I think just him caring about me and us caring about each other uh, made it a little bit easier. We talked about medicines that I was already taking, some of our natural medicines. Even before I went for some of the blood work, they told me to stop taking those so that they could get a better reading on uh, what was, uh, you know, how they were going to treat me. And I would say my family was more concerned for me than I was, you know, and uh, I felt like we got it early. You know, it's still not over. We had my operation and thought it was going to go away. I still have cancer in me, and I do have appointments coming up after my surgical area fully heals, and that's to look at the further treatment. Could be uh, radiation, could be chemo, could be more surgery. I would say one of the barriers is insurance. (laughs) They didn't want to pay for MRI, all that stuff. takes time, you know, and then all that time that was being taken up when it came time for my scheduled surgery and stuff, I came down with COVID (laughs) and that pushed everything back over a month. I grew up around here and participated in all the community events and stuff like that. So I, I got to be known, I guess, even through sports. I was captain of our sports teams. And I knew we were developing a casino out here, so I said, I want to be part of that. Became involved in construction management. Was encouraged by a couple of my mentors to run for council and have my voice heard. Feel just blessed that I was, you know, I guess, pushed towards those leadership positions and the people elected me. I consider myself a warrior for peace and prosperity. You know, and that's all we can do is try to help your people. Be responsible for yourself first, your family, and then your community. I go back to my relationship with Rod Herring, one of my neighbors, my childhood friend. You know, we've been friends all our lives. The work that he's doing inspired me. The program that Rod has for disparities in health at Roswell Park, they help people by making it easier for them to even go to treatment. When I was part of the nation, I was always trying to develop relationships with institutions of education, uh, medical, because I knew those things would give opportunities to our younger people coming up. It's all funding, you know. The research, all that stuff takes money. Prostate cancer that I have, it's become one of the more treatable cancers when it wasn't before. It takes a lot of effort from everybody. And, uh, you know, this is just a small piece for me, you know, but I think overall, over the whole United States, I've been to other nations out there that are less fortunate than we are. Indian Health Services goes nationwide for all the tribes. It's still discretionary funding through the federal government, and that's one of the treaty-related items that they need to take care of our health, education, and welfare, and uh, make that mandatory funding on the federal level, but also just uh, appropriate your dollars carefully in your IHS programs, funding for programs that provide rides, patient navigators, You know, I would say just logistical problems, making your appointments, keeping appointments, having someone walk you through what your next step should be, what what you need to be doing to be able to move forward in your own treatment. All those things will help develop relationships and the better relationship you have with people, the better, you know, you'll have a working relationship with them and cooperation. And I think that will help their members. You can't push people down a path, but if they see it, They may take that path.